Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I'm bringing back my mobile shop cart here and my caster wheel component because as I've been playing with this new constraint components tool in Fusion, coming up with different workflows here and I've got a good one that combines the existing constraint components along with the as-built joint where you can actually use them together to get for a more efficient workflow in building assembly. So I wanted to show that to you here. And this idea actually came about during one of my weekly live fusion classes where I was demonstrating the new constraint components tool and one of my students suggested actually combining it with the joints feature. So I thought that was a great idea and let's go ahead and jump right in. So we'll start with getting this attached to the table Table. and the beginning part is going to be a little bit repetitive if you watched my previous videos but I'll do just a quick recap so instead of using joints I can come in and go to assemble down to constraint components and we'll start by getting let's say this face constraint to this face here of the table and then you can just click on the plus button and keep adding constraint but just to demonstrate how you're locking this down one degree at a time. I'll click OK and just show that now we can move it across the table, but it's locked to the face or the plane of that table there. So I can move it outside, but it's still going to be on that same plane. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go down to the timeline, double click to edit that feature. I'm going to click the add button and add another constraint here to, let's say, this face constraint to this face of the table. And now it can only move on the table and along this axis. So we still have this sort of one degree of freedom left and let's go ahead and lock that in and I'll do that by clicking to open up that feature, pressing the plus sign and then clicking on, let's say, I can either do the face or the edge, I'll click the face and then this face of the table, now it's fully locked. Now the question is, What's the best way to do this again on the three different wheels that we're going to have to bring in? So let's go ahead and mirror this. So to mirror it, let me see, do I have a plane already available? My origin. Yeah, so I made this in the center, so I've got access to my origin plane there. So let's go to create mirror. I'm going to choose components from my object type, click on my component, select mirror plane, and I'll choose this plane right here in the middle and that's going to mirror that about the x-axis there and let's go ahead and repeat that mirror i'm going to choose these two components and then the mirror plane will be the y-axis there and there we go so we've got quickly we've got four of them in place the problem is that the original one that we locked that's locked in place however these are all not constrained and it would be tedious to do the whole constraint components do the face the edge the face or this face so it's three faces in each one you have to do to get them locked in place so i think one method you could do once you get to this point just go ahead and go to assemble and now grab the existing joint constraint and actually go to the as built joint so as built will put a joint in place where those components lie and here we're just going to go with the rigid constraint. And now with just two clicks, I can go ahead and put a rigid joint between my component and my table. So here, I'll click here on the caster wheel and on the table, click OK. And then I'll just repeat that for each component here. And you can see how quick this works by combining the two options here. So I use constrained components to get this locked in and then I'll do a pattern or you can either do a pattern, I guess I did a mirror, but you can do either a pattern or a mirror and then get these locked in place really quick. Yeah, that workflow I think works well if you're just trying to quickly create an assembly here and get my four wheels in and get them locked in place. So I just wanted to hop on a really quick show that workflow. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you have anything to add or anything you think I missed or if you find this valuable. All right, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you're looking to improve your fusion design skills, it's critical that you become comfortable with the use of sketch constraints, which will dramatically speed up your workflow. I've created a free constraints cheat sheet you can download. Check out the link below. I've also included links to my fusion video courses and my Patreon page if you'd like to support my channel. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one.